A pair of Colorado School of Mines graduate students got an award for their work to help NASA establish a long-term human presence on the moon. They're helping find ways to move and store power in space, which could eventually lead to easier travel between the moon and Earth. They call it a gas station on the moon. Your reporter in Jefferson County, Andrew Hobner, explains. Ken Liang and Chris Tolton are trying to solve the problems of tomorrow. Put it all in here. And doing it with some equipment from yesterday. This chamber is actually from the Apollo era. Um, it's actually from the Apollo program. A vacuum chamber from the Apollo space missions being used to solve a new problem. How you can transfer power in space. It's a vacuum, right? So that means that uh, a lot of physics behaviors just won't work the same way as here on Earth. Think about it this way. You have a power cable that runs from the wall to your television, right? Now imagine that that cable has to be two miles long and is subject to all of the physics changes that occur in space. That's the problem Kenneth and Chris are trying to solve. It's very difficult to do, okay? Without a big vacuum chamber like this, uh, you can't do that. But why space mining? Uh, Ten times easier from an energy perspe perspective to move stuff from the moon to Earth, then vice versa. The starting goal, they say, is mining the moon for the fuel required to run missions back and forth. In short, creating a gas station. Putting power on the moon, it enables the mining there, which means that one day, and this isn't going to happen in our lifetime, but one day we will be able to leave the Earth kind of as a natural preserve. While it sounds like mad science, Kenneth and Chris say their goal is just for the technology to lead to long-term solutions that will help keep Earth livable for the next generations. So if we can take that and move it into a place without biological life, uh, it's a net win for, for everyone here on Earth. Now there's plenty more for the duo to do. There's a lot more research, there's a lot more technical skill, and of course building out their startup as well to make their vision of the future a reality in due time. In Golden, I'm Andrew Hopner, covering Colorado First.